from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Michael, one of the, the things that I find fascinating about how Rogers works is for virtually every project that he works on, he does a set of sketches for sometimes several pages, and he makes notes on them, and things get crossed out. Um, but there are surprises that you find throughout the notes, and I, I know you know about this one from before, but um, this is a set of notes that we know for a movie he did called Hallelujah, I'm a Bum. And the weather's just, getting fine, the coffee tastes like wine. You happy hobo sing Hallelujah, I'm a Bum again. Not, not a hit. <laughs> Start but you could Jolson. make it a hit. Oh, well, it could, we'll it could be the there. next one. But yeah, there's one scene that takes place in the park, because uh, Al Jolson was a, was a bum who right. lived outside, so I see park notes. So that, that uh, makes sense. Zoo. So these are all uh, themes for different scenes in the film. Yeah. But then, we, when we turn to the very back, all of a sudden, it just we didn't even realize this. And as I was playing through them, I got to this one. And imagine my surprise when... This is what, 13 years later, yeah. became the theme for the Carousel Waltz, which is the opening sequence in their second collaboration, Carousel, which is extraordinary. And it's in the same key, key of D, three-quarter time. It's just a melody with these symbols he would write to denote chords. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to hear you play just what's there, and then people can hear the full piano version of the song. Well, I have my marching orders yes, for this waltz. Here we go. So take it away, Michael. <laughs> So here's this precious piece of paper that has primarily the melody line for the carousel waltz. It doesn't have any of the harmonies in it except for suggestions. And then it repeats the phrase and it continues the phrase. So that's all that's here. But he had in his head what he was going to write. He knew, he knew what it was. He remembered it. So 13 years later, he takes it and puts it down in all its glory. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.